so the first thing you want to do is to go to your mobile phone hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing me hi my name is cindy apologu to have you here you're most definitely welcome this channel we talk about self-improvement tips and tricks on youtube and anything concerning helping us to navigate our phone and to save videos on our phone and yeah so this video is specifically for my iphone users so in this video i'm gonna be telling you some features you do not know that exist on your iphone or some features that you do not know that is on your iphone and how to navigate your iphone proper and if that sounds like a video you're most interested in watching definitely stick around by hitting the red subscribe button down below you don't want to miss it give this video a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload videos like this and let's jump right into the video i bet you do not know some of these features on your mobile phone or on your iphone and if you know do let me know in the comment section down below that yes i am aware or yes i know these features on my iphone for those that do not know these features i'm gonna start right by telling you about these features on your iphone and yeah let's get started so number one on this feature is about the guided access yeah you want to give your friend or your sister your iphone or basically even your boyfriend or your husband i did not say that your iphone or your phone to check something and you do not want them to go on to other page or you don't do not want them to go to another page in this video i'll show you how to basically lock your screen so they cannot access other features on your phone yeah let's get started i'm gonna basically gonna place a screen record either here or this side of the screen so you can follow the process while i'm doing this so i'm gonna go through my phone so the first thing you want to do is to go to your mobile phone and click settings so when you click on the settings scroll down to scroll down to accessibility so in the part where you see accessibility you see guided access so if it's off click on to put it on for me mine is already set on on and the next thing you want to do is to go to set passcode you can set passcode to lock it or you can leave it there so person use having the guided access is just a feature where you can tap on your on and off button so if you're when your guided access is now on make sure that you check your accessibility shortcut to show that your guided access is actually put on the next thing you go on the part of your phone or where your phone you want to lock the access that you do not want people to access your device or you don't want people to access or you don't want the person to access other parts of your phone let's take for example the person wants to use your phone maybe wants to check your pictures or maybe the person wants to check your google or to use your phone to browse out something and you do not want the person to go to you do not want the person to go check your whatsapp message or to check your text messages or to check some other things you have have hidden in your phone so this is basically it so yeah for this video i'm gonna be using google so now that i have my guided access on and my password on i'm gonna go enter my password and next thing i'm gonna do is to click on this button and guys it's easy you can actually ask, give the person your phone and the person would use only or the person would be on that screen the person cannot have access to any other part of your phone which is really really cool isn't that cool you do not want the person to go to your private messages or to your private informations on your phone the person would only have access onto that screen and you will see the part where they click on the home button it will show you and it will show you on the screen guided access started once it starts you can give the person your phone the person can the person cannot have access to other features or other parts of your phone and once the person is done browsing or br done with whatever is he or she is doing on your phone it can hand over the phone and you can click on end 
to end the guided access now you can have access to doing whatever you want to do on your phone you can open other parts of your phone or you can basically navigate your phone without having restriction so this works for me and this is way 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 cool because sometimes you know when people is really nosy with your phone or on your phone so they usually operate other parts of your phone where you do not want people to have access to it is way way cool it's super cool also let me know if you know about this feature and if you don't do not know now go add that feature on your phone so another cool feature is audio recognition or music recognition you know when you listen to a particular song or a particular music on instagram or on facebook or youtube or other social media platforms and you do not know the song or probably the song do not have this exact name of the artist and you want to know this the artist and you find any stress going on google trying to actually actually get the song and to actually get the artist this feature is really cool i bet you do not know this exists on your phone or this is in your phone so if you do not have the chasm app i'm going to leave a screenshot of how the chasm app looks like go and download the chasm app and on your phone the phone where you have the quick control make sure that the shazam app is right there on your phone as part of your quick control and the next thing you want to do is if you're on instagram or you're you on youtube the good thing about this feature is that it does not stop you from doing what you're doing so if you have your the shazam app as the quick finder or the quick control on your iphone it is very cool because you can easily check to know the particular song or to know the song that is playing and you can is you can know the song you know the title of the song know the artist and go download it which is very cool isn't that easy so grab your phone go on youtube go on instagram go on if and listen to a particular music and if you do not know the name of the artist quickly swipe on your phone and click on the chasm app and even while the music is playing or while the video is playing it will immediately give you a prompt of the artist and the name of the song isn't that way cooler it is way 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 cool way cool you don't have to go on to ask the person that uploaded that video the name of the song or the title of the song it is way 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 cool you can have access to downloading that song or getting that song on your phone which is a great feature that's i mean you need to get into if you don't know about it uh, the next one i want to talk about is setting your thumbnail in your phone gallery i'm fish i bet you do not know about this feature having a thumbnail or setting a thumbnail maybe you have certain picture you do not want you do not want to be in your thumbnail you want a particular picture to be in your thumbnail you know where the iphone automatically creates album for us on our phone and it automatically sets a thumbnail so yeah in this one it is easy for you to do what you have to do is go to your phone and go click on your album click on the albums and select a particular image or select a particular photo you want to set as your thumbnail which is way 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 cool and easy and you can easily check that vi you can easily check that photo and if you want to change your thumbnail continuously or regularly you can as well change or fit in or put a particular photo to change your thumbnail which is way way cool and way easy next one we have is the hide photo feature i'm sure lots of us do not know that on your iphone or upgrade your iphone your ios to the 13 to the 15 version 14 and the latest you have the feature where you can hide photo take let's say for example you have a particular photo you do not want to see on your mobile phone or you do not want to see on your phone your, but you do not want to delete that photo either so i'm going to show you how you can basically hide that photo in one easy step all you have to do is go to your photo click on that particular photo you want hidden and you will see the hide photo section now the oh, one thing about this is when you have the photo hidden you can always go to your album or go to your phone sector where, where you have the recently deleted items or you have your photos or you have other folders on your phone and you do not want to see that hide photo feature anymore all you have to do is go to your is go to your settings and click on on photos and you will see the action do you see the option of icloud photos shared album hidden uh, hidden album 
basic simply click on hidden album and go back to your set your photo and boom you no longer see the album or you no longer see the photo you just hid which is cool and interesting because there are sometimes you have lost so many photos and you do not want want to see that photo or sometimes you have a particular video you do not want people to see or you do not want people to have access to on your phone you can as well hide that photo for your own use or for your own view and when you you, you feel like seeing that video or feel like viewing that video you can go back to unhide the video which is way 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 cool i bet lots of people do not know about this feature if you know about this feature leave in the comment section down below let me know if you know about this feature type hide photo in the comment section down below the next one we have is set timer now set timer comes in different ways or has different ways there are different ways in which you can set a timer on your phone of this feature i'm basically going to tell you how to set timer while playing your music so let's take for example you're playing a favorite music and you do not want to play that entire music or you do not want to play all of the music or you just want a particular music to keep playing all you have to do is to go to your phone and set a timer for that phone let's say you you want the song to play for one minute or two minutes or 30 seconds or 50 seconds you go to your time timer and click on start when you click on that you see when timer ends stop playing which is cool so go back to your music and keep playing your song or keep playing your music and once the timer hits or gets to the end or once the song the timer reads and it gets to the end of the timer the boom the music will automatically stop playing isn't that way really cool because sometimes you might be too busy to go stop the music from playing or to go stop your stop the music playing on your phone and you don't want distraction and stuff you can as well have this feature set to your phone when playing the music and once the timer hits the time frame that you've given the music would automatically stop playing that is way 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 cool and interesting i bet a lot of people do not know about this feature if you know about this feature do let me know and type in the comment section stop playing or music ends another cool feature is clicking timer to take you to the first page or to the original page or to the beginning of the page let's take for example you're on instagram or you're on facebook and you keep commenting or leaving the comment on the page or on leaving comment and you in, I'm, i know it is stressful scrolling up to go back to the beginning of the page all you have to do is just click on the timer or click on the time time section or click on the time on your phone there on the page and it automatically take you to the first page or to the beginning of the page isn't that way cool you don't have to go through the stress of scrolling up scrolling up on your screen Yes, we've come to the end of the video. So these are the few features that are on the iPhone. If you know about some other features, do let me know in the comment section down below. And also, if you know about this feature, type in the comment section down below, iPhone iOS 15.1, and leave a white heart emoji by the side emoji by the side of your comment. And yes, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, do let me know in the comment section down below, down below, and I'll keep creating videos like this for you guys. To, to help navigate your phone and other features or in other interesting features regarding mobile phone, social media. Yes, I will definitely see you in my next video. Bye, guys.